think this fight is about redemption. But it's about the resurgence. Je puise ma source d'inspiration, mon courage dans mon passé. He had a dream, and that dream was to become champion. L'expérience a montré que un lion blessé est plus dangereux. That first fight with Stipe, it got bad. He had every reason to just just be done. Every reason to, and he didn't. You know, I, I feel like Francis just has that mindset. He's just, he doesn't accept failure by any means. He finds the right way to make the adjustments. He's self-accountable, and he moves forward and, and finds the ways to win. This is the second time that I'm going to the uh, championship. Uh, unfortunately, the first time it didn't work, but um, I think also because uh, at that moment I wasn't ready and uh, didn't set up things as uh, they are right now. He had every excuse to just be complacent and be content with, hey, I just made it to the UFC. You know, I'm from Africa, now I'm in the UFC, I've made it. But no, he had a dream, right? And that dream was to become champion. When you look at Francis' life story and see all the trials and tribulations that he's had, and he's never given up, he's never made excuses for himself, and going toward his dream because he knew, regardless of what other people said, right, what his dream was, and, and he just believed in himself. Things like growing up had with a dream of becoming a, a boxer. I wanted, uh, but I didn't have any, there wasn't any gym around. Defying and miss, and miss odds. I mean, think about a guy being in a country where there was no fighting, a guy being in a, in a country where MMA is he, isn't even created, a guy walking from country to country just to follow a dream. Before I left Cameroon, I was uh, thinking about that, but I have to follow to chase my dream. That was like uh, in 2012, 2011, I was still thinking about that. This guy dig dirt for most of his life and decided he wanted to become a fighter and no one believed him. His whole, everyone in his country said no way. He left on foot, became a UFC fighter and he's fighting for the world title for the second time. If that isn't the definition of perseverance and just being unstoppable, I don't know what is. Yeah, I, I think a first impression of Francis in meeting him is he changes your entire perception of what you think a fighter is and or should be. I think he's pretty unique to be quite honest with you. You know, he's a, he's a gentle giant. He's a big lovable character, you know. Um, you see this big figure come into a cage that's just, you know, focused in, zeroed in, and he's ready to take somebody's head off. Yes. I just can't wait for Francis to get his moment and for those people in Cameroon and all over Africa to feel pride and proud of him. It's the, it's the thing I want want from the most. Et je me rends compte que c'est ce n'est plus une histoire de moi, je ne me bats pas aujourd'hui pour moi. Je me bats aujourd'hui pour euh, quasiment pour tout un peu pour pour un très grand monde. This full potential is not only just being a UFC champion, when, which he will be. More important than that is the inspiration that I think um, his story and just the, the human being he is will impact a lot of people. I just believe in his journey. Yes, I think this is what he's destined to do. I really do. I think it's just a part of his narrative. I think it's part of his chapter in his life that this is what God or the universe or fate put in front of him to get to this point. I think it's just supposed to be. I think it's already written, to be honest. C'est un sentiment que je ne peux pas expliquer et c'est quelque chose que je ne peux pas me vanter de ça parce que la réalité c'est que j'ai pas fait euh, quelque chose d'exceptionnel pour euh, pour mériter ça. Je je dirais plutôt que j'ai peut-être eu la chance, j'ai peut-être eu ce don d'avoir cette détermination, d'avoir euh, cette lueur, cette, euh, ce truc-là qui me guidait, qui, qui illuminait mon chemin. Yes, yes.
You know, this man crossed a continent and then got on a raft 11 times to get where he wanted to be. And, you know, the man's been resilient. The man isn't supposed to be here. He's not. And he never accepted it.